Yo, what's up everybody? I'm back and we're here with some baby freeze transitions today. All right. All right, guys, let's go with the baby freeze material. Uh, so first we're gonna start with the simple basic baby freeze. I think I hope you can already do this. Um, but let me explain really quickly. Uh, so you put one elbow right here somewhere where your, where your knee pit is and your other elbow somewhere close to your pocket okay so first start just place your head on the floor and this is your baby freeze okay so one thing that I like about baby freeze you can also put your shoulder on the floor so this makes it a lot more comfortable and it gives it a bit of a different shape and you're very close to floor work positions I think this one is a good opening uh, to mix your baby freeze up with your floor work that's something we've been doing in the previous lessons uh, so I think this is a good moment to apply the baby freeze from that perspective okay so I go back to it again baby freeze place your head on the floor now place your shoulder on the floor and then from here we could go to this position at one time okay so we go one then this feet boom it's going over it so we can even go to back to the hook boom we can go back to baby freeze again same side for example, but there's, it's an endless thing of transitions that you can play with right here. So for the next one, um, we still go back. We go back here. So the head on the floor, shoulders on the floor. And let's just try to grab your head or your cap, whatever. Just stretch one leg out. And you go back, okay? So this is the first thing we're gonna try. Baby freeze, shoulder freeze, baby freeze, shoulder freeze, baby freeze, okay? Okay, try it out. I'll show you again. I have a different variation from a different angle. Baby freeze, press the shoulder on the floor, step out, step back in. Boom, boom. Okay, so with this ID we're gonna we're gonna try to tap our feet when we off our baby freeze and then we're gonna bounce back. So our baby freeze, tap and back, tap and back, tap and back. So what you do basically is you roll from your back from a really high position. You roll into it. And you do this movement to roll back. So basically what you do is you roll from here to the shoulder, you see, boom. But when my knees fall down here, I should have my arm under it so it can catch it back up. So, boom. Okay, and you add as well this one. Boom. So there's actually a lot you can do and I think the best thing is if you find your own way to do it. So I don't want to show too much examples for it, but one, uh, one more for this one. Let's just try to tap both of our feet at the same time. So, baby freeze, press your shoulder on the floor, tap your feet and move back, okay? So let's try to do this straight away on the other side as well. So you, you switch side, tap, I think that the freeze back to this side. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so that's the first basic variation. Um, you're gonna play a little bit around with it. 
So see some other options, uh, what we can do with these techniques. So I'll show you it in a different way. We're going from the back, you roll back over your shoulder. And you're here. From here, it's very easy to roll out again as well. Boom, other side. And you roll. So you basically mix up baby freeze and rolling. So of course this is very handy if you crash. This is a good backup plan. So for example, baby freeze here. You can even roll out of it this way. Okay, so baby freeze. Boom. Roll your head underneath your hand. And you roll. Okay? So if we want to make a baby freeze roll out of it, it's possible because you roll out in this position. And from this position, we can easily go back to baby freeze again. So we would go. Boom. Whoa. So I think it's very, very useful this one. Also, if you want to go to a swipe um, or some other foot hook position, you can roll out of your baby freeze and pop up to another move, for example. Baby freeze. Oops. So from here. Cool. So I'll show you again what I do from a different angle. Baby freeze. Shoulder on the floor. My left, my body up, and I just roll out from here. I jump up. Okay, alright. Baby freeze is very useful if you control it both ways. Uh, and there's a lot of different ways how to go from left side to the other side. So let me show you some basic ways. The first one, you use your head, so you can use headstand position. Baby freeze, and you go a little bit to your head and you back to the other side. Pretty basic. So what's important for this one is that you're able to do a baby freeze to a head position. Now the second one, we're gonna try to do the same thing, but we're not gonna use our head, so we gotta get full control out of our hands. So try to keep your head off the floor all the way, even in your baby freeze. One, two. A little bit of a turtle technique, but every time you swing, you lock yourself up in the corner with the baby freeze. Um, some more, some more ways. I'm just gonna drop everything that comes up right now. Um, baby freeze. We're gonna use our head again, just like this. So you just go like a pop out, boom, and you jump back in. Looks dynamic and technically this one is one of the simplest ones that we've been doing with this. Um, another one is when we use our back from the other side. So now we're here, baby freeze, go on our shoulder, on our back. And from here, you roll to this side. So, baby freeze this side. Roll out on your back. And you're here. I think it's also a pretty useful one. You can mix it with your windmills 
um, and it's a good way to um, combine your power moves in different ways. Um, I think it's really important to control baby freeze both ways. Um, because for example, if your power moves are the same way, if everything in your breaking is the same direction, then everything will look boring because it goes in the same circulation. Um, so if you're if you're if you're right-handed and your footwork will go right-handed and your baby face is right-handed, um, it's not very useful to use baby freeze as a starter from your power. But when your baby freeze is on the left, it's very comfortable to use the swing from here. Combine it with a windmill, for example. Um, let's see how we can explain this more. Um, okay, let's let's play a little bit with baby freeze and the inside inside chair spin. From here, baby freeze to this one, and then from that one we're gonna go to our back again. So, baby freeze, chest spin, back, baby freeze, other side, baby freeze, left, spin, do it back, and you stop. So you see, these were two different sided baby freezes. I finished with my right, which is my weak side, but I start with my left. So the right one is useful when you do power and your, your body goes this direction. You can use it as a stop, but then you can also use it as a start to go reverse uh, as a departure point. But this is obviously simpler the other way because none of my power moves go both ways. So, baby freeze on the right side. One, in, baby freeze left. Boom. All right. So, those were a couple basic baby freeze uh, combinations. Um, I can show you a couple um, different positions within the baby freeze that can be useful. So, one that I actually really like, and then we go back to back rocks a little bit, is the shoulder baby freeze. So, look like this. Boom. So, instead of using this hand, you use this elbow. So you put your hand in your pocket and you put weight on this. this that's where your fully weight is. And this, this piece and your elbow, they're just there to control the balance, okay? So with this one, it's very, very easy to roll to the other side. And you here, go a little bit to the middle. So one, and roll to this side. Boom. One, boom, two. This is also a good massage for your back. <laughs> All right. So now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna try to do make a little spin with it. So instead of just pushing from side to side, you're gonna give it a little bit of a swing. So from here, boom. Baby freeze, back. Oh. 
So also a little different shape. From your baby feet, just use your your feet that's up to to be here. Okay, so last one with the baby freeze. Um, we're gonna go from baby freeze to mini elbow freeze, okay? So from here, one, we lift this up to go two. So you can go a little bit, mostly to your head, but you slide also with the shoulder to this elbow. Also, I think it's good to train one-handed baby freeze. So you start here, you train this way, this way, and eventually you train your balance. So from this one, it's very comfortable to mix it with your chair freeze. Boom, so it's all, everything is very close. Uh, and my basics, foundation that I use for myself, everything is mixed up direction-wise. So my turtle freeze is on the right side. My good chair freeze is on the left. Then my baby freeze is on the right. And my air baby is also on the right. And then my power goes right. But my football goes left. So this made it a bit hard for me in the beginning, but eventually it helped me to shape my style the way it is today.